let me ease your mind. Sit back and recline, enjoy this ride. I'm about to get deep. You're now tuned in to Don Easy TV. Don Easy TV. Metro Arm Security Stories. Story time. Let's get Yo, it. I'll never forget, man. So let me recap again. Let me recap. I survived a crazy station in Compton. I survived the crazy station in Long Beach, and I survived the crazy station in downtown Red Line. And I survived crazy stations in West LA, Santa Monica, Expo Line. So let's get to this new stuff. Let, now let me go back when I was working at Arteza Station on the Blue Line, or the A Line they call today. Anyway, I remember this lady named Mary. Mary, 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 quite contrary, dude. <laughs> what was so funny and so interesting about Mary was that Mary would be all dressed up like she going to, you know, some club or some bar or somewhere fancy. She'll always have like a tight dress on with some um, high heels on. And then she'll have this big old Diana Ross wig or weave or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then the crazier part about Mary is that Mary, you know, her top part, you know, the light bulb area, you could tell it was real, but on the side of her chest area, you will see like, like, like papers or something sticking out or something on each side, on the left and right side. Like you could tell it was something inside the bra. Like I couldn't, we couldn't figure it out. Like what the hell do she got in her bra? We couldn't figure it out. We couldn't figure it out. So what made Mary so interesting, she was very, she was sexy as hell, but you could tell she was a street walker. <laughs> and, um, so she'll keep it very brief. She, we'll say, what's up, Mary? She's like, what's up? And she'll put her head up, what's up? And then she just keep going. Wouldn't say nothing, get on the train or get off the train and, you know, get on the bus. You know, she would just keep, she wouldn't stay in one area. She either get on the train or she get on the bus. She never hung out. So one day we all standing around and this one lady, she knew the backstory of Mary. Mary came through with, hey, Mary, what's up with her head up, what's up? And then she just kept, you know, in her own little world. So the lady was like, wow. That's Mary. You say, you know Mary? She said, yeah. Mary used to be in my church. She used to sing and she was in the choir and everything. And then she got hooked on them drugs. And then now she on Long Beach Boulevard. We're like, what? Long Beach? We knew she walked the blade, but we didn't know which blade it was. <laughs> so the whole time we like, dang. She's like, yeah, she was all, she was, you know, she come from the church. And she got hooked on them drugs, and there you have it. So, the one, Mr. Mr. Jackson, he looked a little more intrigued about when he heard that part. <laughs> Mr. Jackson heard that part, he was like, oh, really? Oh, really? She was on, she, she's a street walker, huh? Oh, oh, okay. So, we didn't even think much of it, right? So, fast forward, boom. One day, Mary said, we said what's up, Mary? She said, what's up? She did that same, what's up, all the time with her little head nod, what's up. And then after she said, what's up, she piggybacked, and then she uh gave me a piece of paper. <laughs> so I opened up the piece of paper, it's Mary and her number. I'm like, what? She gave me the digits? <laughs> of course, I didn't call. Wrong! I'm lying. <laughs> One desperate night, it was about like 2, 3 in the morning, I decided to call Mary. <laughs> and luckily, it went the voice message, and I never called her again. Oh, my God. I blame it on the alcohol. So, there's another story. <laughs> so, a little birdie told me that somebody at the station, I think, uh, Mr. Jackson... <laughs> Gave Mary a ride home one day. 
And, uh, yeah, the rest is history. You already know. You already know. And he told us. Well, he didn't tell us. He told this, this, he told this certain person when, you know, when, when things was cracking, when she was taking everything off in the bra. All that time we would see paper sticking out and stuff. That wasn't, that was paper. It was money. Money. Mary had about, they, he said about like least two to three thousand dollars of just hundreds in her bra area. No cap. So all that time, <laughs> we thought Mary was just stuffing, just regular stuff, little stupid papers. Mary was getting her paper. <laughs> and that's not it y'all do y'all remember that dude i was telling y'all tyrone you know i wrote a song about him i knew this guy his name was tyrone he used no brushes and he used no comb he digs in the trash because he got no home and everybody want to know about tyrone <laughs> y'all remember that <laughs> so it's another story about tyrone there's many stories so one thing we didn't know, man, so we was just doing a patrol, and we hear, so we look in the bush area, it's Tyrone! <laughs> Tyrone in the damn bush area, man, he doing all kind of kung fu and karate moves and jumping up in the air, and we was like, we was shocked, we was shocked, we was like, dang, Tyrone might have been a kung fu master back in the days. <laughs> I mean, he was on point with it. I was like, dang. And he wasn't, like, out of shape. So, you know, you could tell he was on, on, on that stuff. And then he was a little off and all that. But he knew how to do that damn karate and kung fu with precision. I mean, damn. I mean, I thought I was seeing Bruce Leroy back there or something. <laughs> so one day, we got finished our patrols and stuff. And then here come Tyrone. And I was like, hey, what's up, Tyrone? He always be like, what's up? He like extended, what's up? But this time, he didn't say nothing. And he had a, a, a cup of water in his hand. And I was like, what the hell? What's going on? You good, Tyrone? And he didn't want to say nothing. He started walking close. I walked back. I said, man, don't get no closer. I started putting out my pepper spray. And he just stopped in his tracks. And he just threw the water on the ground. And then walked back to the bush area and started doing his karate and kung fu again. <laughs> and that's what Tyrone would do, man. All Tyrone would do was just walk around, look for cigarettes, jump in the bushes, do his kung fu, and just look in the air or look in the sky or look wherever and just be in a trance. And that's the story of Tyrone. Why they do you so wrong? And when you see Tyrone, he's always standing alone. Yeah. <laughs> And that's not it. Man, it was this dude I remember we called him the beggar. The beggar? Oh, man. He be begging at the turnstiles. Hey, man, you know, can you? I was wondering, can you put something on my tap card so I get on the train? Or, or he'd be at the bus stop. Hey, hey, you know, I'm a little short, you know, on the bus fare. Can you loan me a, a couple of quarters so I can get on the bus? Or he'd be at the platform. Hey, 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 man, you know, you know, can you, can you, can you spare me a couple of dollars so I can get me something to eat? I mean, just begging, all the time begging. Beg, 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 beg. And if I got a video of him, I'm going to show y'all. <laughs> And you see how every other word was God bless you. <laughs> can I bless? Can you let me borrow uh, 
five cent. God bless you. Can you let me borrow a dollar? God bless you. Can you give, can you give me a half of that hamburger? God bless you. His favorite word I forgot was God bless you. God bless you. Well, God bless him, man. I hope he doing better. Shout out to him. <laughs> but stop begging so damn much. Metro Armed Security Story. Subscribe, like, comment to Don Easy TV. Yeah.